The labour market is just the same as many other markets. We have some kind of commodity that's been demanded and supplied by two different groups. In this case, labour is being supplied by households and being demanded by businesses, depending on how many workers they need to make the products that they plan to make. There is, however, something that looks a little bit different in a labour market that we don't see in other markets, and it's got to do with the supply of labour. Generally, the supply of labour is upward sloping, and this is because as the wage right wage rate rises, more workers will be willing to supply their labour in this industry. This is because the return they are getting on their labour is greater than it might be in other industries, and so workers in other industries will shift their supply into this particular industry. At very high wage rates, however, sometimes we'll start to see something different occur. If the wage rate being offered in this industry was really, really high, workers in that industry might actually start to reduce the number of hours they work. A good example would be if I was working in this industry and the wage rate was at W1, I might work all week and make $100. But if the wage rate increased, I might be able to make $100 by only working four days a week. If that was the case, I might decide that I'm just going to have a four-day week and have a three-day weekend because the wage rate is so high, I don't need to work as much to get the same amount of money. I might decide that the wage rate is attractive enough that I only have to work a couple of days a week and get the money that I need in order to live. And instead, because I have this access to money, I would like to spend my time doing leisure activities instead. So what will happen is that as the wage rate gets really high, the supply curve will actually shift and start to reduce. So when the wage rate gets really high, people will start to actually decrease the amount of labour that they'll supply, and we end up with what we call a backward bending supply of labour curve. Generally, however, wages aren't this high. So often when we look at a labour market diagram, we'll be operating down in this section of the diagram. And so this part of the diagram, uh, that is from here upwards, becomes irrelevant to the, to the diagram. So what we'll often see is a supply and demand diagram that looks just like the supply and the demand for any other product. In reality, however, the supply of labour tends to be a backward bending supply curve, and this makes the supply of labour different to the supply of other commodities.